guys, Life Sim 132. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special video for you because I, I do, excuse me, try to make so you can see me. I do have videos on my on my page where I have some cooking and sipping. I have some um, cooking and sipping with me. Today is something similar, but it's through keto because I started my keto diet and intermittent fasting. And it's been going very well, even though, you know, I, about a week, you know, I, I didn't stick to it because I went back home. I started eating things that I shouldn't have been eating. So now I'm getting back on track. So today is just going to be a keto dinner that I decided to make. It's nice outside. So I went and found some T-bone. I haven't eaten anything all day, even though my, my intermittent fasting is from, uh, my eating window is 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then from 9 p.m. to 1 p.m. the next day is when I fast. So I've, I've been off today. So... I took some time to actually rest while I was sleeping most of the day. I think I only had like a little piece of a wing and that's it. So I still have a lot of calories to obtain. I tried to stick within 1500 throughout the day. But I'm going to just show you this real quick because I'm going to show you how I season these steak. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the grill ready. I just want the seasonings on the steak so I can get it together. Along with this, I'm also going to make This is something that I found, you know, when looking for recipes online you know, for keto and all that. I think I'm called, pronouncing this correctly. This is called a jacama. This is what it looks like. Correction, and This you guys. is something this like is a substitute actually called for jicama. like potatoes. Um, fried I'm going to say this throughout the whole video. I've been home fried been calling this steak. jacama. So after potato, I did the video, so I did my research, research to find out some, how to actually Mexican pronounce it. Yambi. And it's now, really called a jicama. Keto, so excuse me throughout the video as I say jicama and the turnips because this is a little bit more higher in carbs than those type of um, vegetables. So I'm gonna, I want to show you this first. I'm gonna cut this up, slice this up into some cubes, season it and add some onions to it, and then put that on the stove. And I also have some corn, some sweet corn that I'm actually gonna put on the grill as well. I might throw a couple of the vegetables that I have up there, maybe some onions and some asparagus that I actually bought, but let's get to this seasoning, this steak. Let me let you guys see what I bought. Get you down here if you can see it these are the steaks they actually came in a value pack I actually found a great sale um from um, Safeway I think it was but these are what they look like and how thick they are I already washed them off dry and patted them dry just to get them dry as possible now what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna use a little bit of this is this sea salt right here. just a little bit I'm not a big salt person but this helps with the juices within the steak. It helps bring it out a little bit more. So I'm gonna just season this with a little bit of salt and flip it over. And then season it on this side with a little salt. Just a little bit. Like I said, I'm not a big salt person. Cause I don't like stuff. I still like to taste the seasonings. Wash the hands Again, anytime you touch any kind of meat, red meat, whether it be poultry or anything, um, you have to, you know, wash your hands in between because you don't want things to get contaminated in between the process. I also have some McCormick's Mix Grill Masters uh, Montreal Steak. I love this. I'm going to put some of this on the up here. Now, this is where I'm going to get most of my seasoning from, right here. Also, you know what, you guys, I skipped this step. I normally put a little bit of this on it right here. Worcestershire sauce, so however you pronounce it. I put a little bit up there too. This helps again with the juices. It's just gonna turn, it's gonna turn the meat. It's like a little marinade. So I'm gonna let these marinate for a little bit while I start to grill and then cut up this, this uh, jacama over here. So again, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right, you guys, my steaks are marinated. I got this grill up to around 400 now. If, if any of you guys watched my last video, this is the first time I've been back out to this puppy right here that I kind of felt defeated with. So, grilling, I can grill. It's that smoking that's the problem, but my meat still turned out great. So, let's see what we got here. Like I said, my temp is about four. Let me show you guys what the steaks look like before I actually, and the, excuse the wind. I, I don't know if you guys can really hear me, but there's a lot of wind today. For some reason I, I don't know why it's been hot all week so, so 
sorry I didn't bring a table out here to put my stuff to the side. But now let me show you these, these this meat right here. You see these, you guys? Don't mind that brown tin on it. That's that Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, however you say it, on it. But look at my my seasonings, and there are three in a pack. It's only two of us, but why not just go ahead and cook the third? We can split that and, you know, save it for another day. However, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to eat this whole steak because this is a pretty big steak. And like I said, I caught them on sale. So, I'm going to start putting, this is my, my grill. I put most of the coals in the center because that's going to be my hot spot. So, that's what I'm going to start off with. We're trying to make some grill marks on these steaks. So, listen to that. See that sizzle? Kind of turn them the opposite way now i'm gonna let these sear for maybe like six minutes i think i'm gonna move my coals up just so that the the flames can be a lot closer to it because i want to get that sear on these very fast because i like a well done steak i want my steak cooked all the stay tuned you guys hi you guys so i'm cooking some i'm about to cook some asparagus I have some butter in the pan. And then I have some mixed garlic. I put a little bit in the pan, but I'm going to put a little bit more. Because I have a lot of asparagus. Now I'm just going to saute this a little bit. Let me get my other seasonings out that I want to put on it. I'm not going to use salt, but not regular salt, but I have some garlic and parsley salt that I'm going to put on it. I have some chopped onions that I want to put in it as well, along with my regular garlic powder and onion powder. So I'm gonna just let these cook for a little bit. This garlic, I don't want it to get super burnt or anything. Let me like go down a little bit so you guys can see. So I got the garlic and stuff cooking. I'm just gonna simmer this a little. Put you guys over so you can see. Oh. There we go. Not on high heat, like I said, because I don't want to burn the garlic. Now I'm going to add a little bit of these chopped onions into the pan as well. Here. Now, now I'm going to put my asparagus in the pan. And we all know my asparagus is a lot bigger than what the pan is, but that's fine. So at this point, I'm going to add some garlic powder to it. I'm going to add some onion powder to it. And then some of my garlic and parsley salt. Now this is going to substitute for the salt that I actually would have to put on the veggie. So I'm going to just let these saute in this butter. And then once it starts cooking and walks down a little bit, I have a little bit more room in the pan. Sorry, I just had to cut that stalk off that, that part. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like it. The, that white part in the back of the asparagus, it could be good. I don't know. I never tried it. So I'm going to turn some of these opposite direction. And this, all right, you guys, I'm about to flip these over. It's been about five minutes. Okay. I like to see that right there. Not me. I do. You said not you? Yeah, baby. That's hot. kind of dark. That's not, but then you get that big one right here. How about that? Dark on one side. Do you want to dark on the other side? No. How about we just let them move to the yeah. quiet side? We can move them over to the quiet side. And you yeah, have to, move, you move these over. Hot. Let me turn this around. Make sure you have ten long side away from the heat. The heat. What a fillet. Let's go to this side. This side is about calm. I don't care what she said. I'm gonna fuck this up. <laughs> Easy. 
But I'm gonna fuck this up. Hey, I'm sure it's good. I'm not just oh, being that, baby. this crust right here. I can't even eat this piece right now. I ain't gonna let taste it. You ain't gonna let me so, taste that, but... No one's listening. <laughs> so, I got my corn on. You really do. I'm gonna put Turn this on the quiet side. Yeah. I got this. Girl. It's on the quiet side right here. Don't mind all that right there. That's gonna easily come off. I'm gonna let these puppies continue to cook. I just gotta get this piece of fat, you guys. Okay. It's very mm. flavorful. It is very. It's good. Which I put that down. A one on. <laughs> what up? What kind of grill is that? This is, I'm right here. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a charcoal professional grill. God, it's good. When when did you get that? We gotta went through this. I got this for Valentine's Day. Okay. <laughs> this is, wasn't no normal gift for whatever, but yeah. I appreciate it because this, I really wanted a grill. I really, really wanted a grill. Any goddamn thing. Baby thought she was picking up a. Uh, yeah, she oh. sent me the Lowe's. I'm right here. She the sent Home me the Depot. Lowe's. Home no, Depot. Did, yeah, Home Depot to go pick up something that I thought that I was picking up for the outside light. <laughs> so I go to the customer. <laughs> I go to the customer service desk. She cut my head up. I go to the customer service desk, and the lady was like, "You oh, you hope?" She's like, "I said yeah." Let me. She's like, "Let me see your ID." She come around with some big ass dolly. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I got that juice on my hand. Big ass dollar with his grill on it. So she made me pick up my own Valentine's Day gift. Yo, it was No, no it it was creative. Um, you don't understand the She did not the have any way out because she I got she kept saying she, this she wanted needed my truck for something. I was like, Well just take the truck. <laughs> she, she did not take it that way. <laughs> so I, I was kinda upset because I had to get up to go get something on my day off. Yeah. Which she, I did not want to do. No, she, she fought me tooth and nail. I did not want to do I it had to, I had to come up with something, a, a creative way for her to lie. get it. I know I tried to bring it home, but it wouldn't fit in my car. She had a truck. She had, she had a lot of Yeah, I did. I like think it's wind, it's wind, you guys. It feels so good out here. It does. Come here, you got some. You got one. Let me get it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. All right, you guys, so I'm about to cook this. Two comma. Mine again, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly for those that knows the correct pronunciation. So I put a little oil in the pan. Let me set you up. Right here, take a second. Put a little oil in the pan. It's the same as if I'm cooking, you know, my home fry. I'm like I would do my regular like, potatoes. I'm not gonna put all of them in at once. I'm gonna let those cook a little bit. Stir them up again. I put the onions in it already. Let those cook a little. And then I have a lid on hand. Cause for potatoes, it's like regular potatoes. You want them to cook all of them. Let me let you guys see what this looks like. This is the steak right here. Of course, we both like well done. The asparagus, the corn, and then the tikama. I, I'm again. I'm. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly because I don't want to offend anyone. But this is the end result. Again, I put butter and garlic into these tin foils right here. The corn. Put those in the grill. Asparagus, I cook those in the house. The steak, of course, you saw that I cooked that on the grill. And then these, I cooked that on the stove. So this is one keto dinner. Again, I don't have much in my system at all. If I was to eat, a, I don't think I could eat, even eat a whole plate like this. But I'm going to attempt because, like I said, on my keto diet is 15 calories. And I only really had... Um, just like a wing but I also include my wine into my keto tracker so I'm on maybe my third glass of uh, a red blend that I've been drinking some people say you shouldn't drink on the keto diet but it's in my tracker so I'm tracking it I'm tracking my calories on it so 
I'm still within the the proper protocol for it. So if you guys like what you see, like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button so you can see new videos from me. Comment, let me know any other things that you might want to see. These are uh, the combos that I made with the onions and this is also you can use this as a breakfast potato as well mix it with a meat or maybe just a, a fried egg or something in the morning that could be your keto breakfast or whenever you decide to eat your first meal just a suggestion like comment subscribe till next time you guys